So uh, last week I was pretty angry about the PlayStation, wasn't I? So um, I'm going to do something a little bit different this week. My name is Codename Big Bill Stewart, if you want to call me by my first name. Uh, welcome to the Bears Den. As I said in the cold open, we are going to do something a little bit different, because last week I was pretty angry about the PlayStation. So, this week I'm going to be looking forward to what's coming out on the Switch, that I'm actually quite excited for, and I'm looking forward to really playing. Um, the first one we'll talk about is Retromania Wrestling. That should have been out by now, um, but there was complications... Um, you should be able to see it on the screen. But basically, it's going to be a couple more weeks before it comes out onto any console. It is on Steam, uh, so if you do want to play that and you do have a PC that can run games and play games, you can find it on Steam. Uh, but console-wise, we have to wait a couple of weeks. And again, as soon as that's out, I will be doing a review on that one. Uh, but let's get to something a little bit more, uh, a bit more exciting. Now, this next game that I'm going to talk about is... It's, it's exciting for me because it brings me... Uh, earlier in the year, I, I did a, what games I want to see on the Nintendo Switch. And one of the games was Titanfall, Titanfall 2. Titanfall 2, oh, amazing game. But this next game that's coming out is Apex Legends. It's out on the 9th of March, so just in a few weeks, if that. Uh, not even weeks, really. Kind of a few days, just over a week and a half. Um, but th that is set and made by the same people that did Titanfall. It's set in the same universe, and it's an online kind of shooter, and you, you know, it's a battle royale type thing, I believe. I've never actually played it. Um, but if that's come to Switch, means I probably will actually pick it up, and it looks really good. Um, but the, the game itself looks incredible, and it has this whole... Uh, Basically, basically, just gives me hope for time for time for to come out. <laughs> that's, that's all it is. Um, I know it's a loot shooter. You you have um, you work in a team and you have lots of like loot coming in. There are loot boxes available and all this kind of thing. Not a fan of, but uh, as far as I know, it's free to play. I don't think it is, to be honest. I really have no idea. Um, but the only reason I'm excited about this game is because if this game's coming out, then there's a possibility of time for. That's my main thing. There you go. Next game we're going to talk about is uh, a game that has been out for years and years and years and years and years, um, but you just can't play it unless you have a PS2 or an original Xbox. And this is a re-release. Uh, it's no, not really an upgrade or remaster or anything like that. It is one of my favourite games of that generation as well. It stubs the zombie. <laughs> I love zombies. I really do. I've got Zombie for Life tattooed onto my wrist. That was my first ever tattoo. Because, well, apparently I'm an idiot. I don't regret this, by the way. I love my tattoo. Um, but Stubbs the Zombie is a fantastic game. Um, I'm a bit wary that it's going to be old school controls. If they haven't tweaked any of that. That might not translate well these days. Um, people will struggle to get kind of get into it. Um, but I remember the controls being pretty uh, pretty good. There's some issues with the cameras here and there. But the game itself, you basically play Stubbs. You're a door-to-door, -door, I want to say vacuum parts salesman you're a door-to-door -door salesman and you end up uh in this one one house in the middle of nowhere and Stubbs kind of uh has a little relation with the lady at the door and that lady at the door has a dad who is not okay with it like think classic hick like yeah get away from my daughter all that kind of thing anyway he kills Stubbs and he buries him somewhere uh, and then you later on a few years later you wake up as Stubbs the zombie, uh, in a 1950s future town. So basically what the 1950s would have thought the future would have looked like uh, with everything kind of round, or rounded like kind of cars, things that like, that's the noise that would make. You have circles around everything. Look at the footage, you'll, you'll see where I'm coming from. Um, but basically, as Stubbs, you are trying desperately to get to your lady love um, because she's been advertised around in this town and you think, oh, well, she's still alive, I'm going to go and find her. But whilst you're doing that, you are taking this town over. You are eating civilians, turning them into zombies, creating zombie hordes that you can kind of bend to your will. You can rip your head off and bowl it down, down, down the street and explode. You can take your hand off and have that run across and play the hand and then possess people so you can use guns and stuff as well if you wanted to there's loads and loads of options here and it's genuinely quite a funny game and the, some of the main villains are a barbershop quartet that will just sing at you the entire time you're battling them and kind of think 
Bioshock Infinite, when they turned up, it was just kind of that ridiculousness. It was really good fun. It's a really great game, and it's out on 16th of March, which is only a few weeks away. Actually, a few weeks away. Genuinely, I love this game. Very excited for it. Uh, if you've never played it, 100% recommend um, to just pick it up and play it. Uh, it's one of those games I have extremely fond memories of it. So the next game I'm going to talk about is a game that's coming out on the 6th of April. And it's Star Wars Republic Commando Remastered. Uh, this is a game where you play first person as a clone trooper. And you've got to battle your way through on many Star Wars environments that you'll see and love throughout the films. Uh, or the series, or depending on how much of a fan you are, in the books maybe. Um, you know, you, it's a really cool game. It was, it was kind of reminded me a lot of Halo at the time mainly because I probably played it on the Xbox, but it was a very, very, uh, very, very cool game. And again, I know it's another re-release. I'm sorry about that, um, but it, I am excited for it. Now, what makes this game actually more exciting when it's coming out is the fact that the online servers will be back up and running. So you can play online with people that you uh, that you want to play with. For instance, myself, uh, I, I want to play with Will uh, from Respawning. That'd be very cool. I'll have him blathering in my ear and just schooling me on Star Wars, because I'm really, honestly, out of the loop, even though I love that franchise. Just very much out of the loop. Um, but that is quite cool. Now, one thing people might be watching this going, well, Republic Commander is available on blah, blah, blah. It is actually available already on the Xbox. It's backwards compatible on the Xbox. You can buy it on the Xbox Live Arcade, which doesn't exist anymore, but you can buy it on the Xbox Store. Um, and you can play the game, but you can't play online anymore because those servers are dead. So if you do want to play the game, there is that option to do it. But if you want to have a slightly shinier new coat of paint uh, on it and be able to play online, the new version is coming out and I'm very excited for it. I really am. It should be fun. Um, you get to shoot Wookiees and you get to shoot uh, Jawas. You get to shoot all sorts of people. It's just... <sighs> Yay. Yay. The final game I'm going to be talking about is a sequel to a game that came out on the N64, and it's a sequel to a game I absolutely adore. And for me, was the best, absolute best game in the franchise, hands down, for me. It is new Pokemon Snap. New Pokemon Snap is coming out very soon, on the 30th of April. Uh, and uh, honestly, I have wanted a sequel to Pokemon Snap since I finished the original game. Uh, I thought we would get one on the GameCube. Never happened. I thought we would get one on a Wii U. Uh, or on the Wii. It never happened. The most likely one I thought it was going to happen was going to be on the Wii U with a pad. And you could use that to take photos and do things that way. It never happened. And then all of a sudden, we got an announcement for new Pokemon Snap. And, <sighs> yes. Now, the reason I'm going to kind of... I said this is the best, that Pokemon Snap was the best game of the entire franchise. There are people out there that will absolutely 100% disagree with me. Uh, I just, I'm just not a big fan of Pokemon, to be honest. I played Pokemon Red and Blue on the Game Boy, I played Yellow, I played Stadium, and that's pretty much where I started. Oh, Colosseum, I played Colosseum on the GameCube, uh, and that's pretty much where I stopped. Uh, obviously, apart from Pokemon Snap, I love that game. And um, I just kind of wasn't interested anymore. I'd had enough of the franchise, it was kind of oversaturated onto me, and then... The games that have come out have literally been remakes. People have said they've been remakes. Uh, yes, there are slightly different stories, but it's essentially the same plot. I, I get that Zelda does that as well. Um, but for me, I just wasn't... I'm not interested in Pokemon. Apart from Pokemon Snap. Pokemon Snap, yes. I mean, the fact this game is coming out is amazing. Like I said, it's skipped a few generations and it's finally getting a sequel. Or sequel. And, uh, and I, what I really hope this game actually is going to have is going to have the original game in there somewhere. So you can play that. You can do the original game if you wanted to. Plus all the lovely new novels and have some new Pokemon. And it would be interesting for me as well because I, when I played Pokemon Snap, I knew a lot about Pokemon. I knew how the characters would work and how, how you can work things out and what kind of things to expect and how to evolve them, blah, blah, blah. Um, but with the new one... There's going to be lots of Pokemon that I just don't know. I don't know anything about them. I don't know what types they are. So I wouldn't know how to even try and react to them. So it's going to be full on experimentation with me. And I'm very excited for that. I'm excited for something new uh, yeah, when it comes to Pokemon. I'm excited to actually buy a Pokemon game. Sword and Shield didn't interest me at all. Just not bothered. This, yes, so excited. So freaking excited. And, uh, and again, when this game comes out, 
I will be doing a review of it as well, for sure. 100% I'll be doing a review. I'll be buying it day of release, and you'll get a review within a week, probably, hopefully. Depends on work. Anyway, let's stop talking, because I'm just going to say the same thing over and over again. So guys, that was my video on games that are coming out in the next couple of months and by the end of April. Yes, there are a few re-releases there. You're always going to get that of me. I'm sorry about that. Um, but you're also looking at a couple of exciting new games, Retro Mania Wrestling, which should be out already, as I said. Um, but it is coming out in the next couple of weeks. And yes, I will be doing a review of that. Pokemon Snap, of course. That new one is going to be coming out soon. I'm very, very excited for. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. You do all the things. You know the rules by now. Um, check out our website. We have hundreds of videos here on YouTube. So check out loads of our other stuff as well. And, um, you know, uh, yeah, most of all, have a nice day. Don't forget to be nice to each other, yeah?